So here is the Bell Super DH. Just got this in a couple days ago. Beautiful color scheme. So I've already taken this out a handful of times on uh, various trails. Um, was too excited, couldn't, couldn't wait, so I immediately took it out for a test drive, so to speak. <clears throat> so this is uh, a replacement for my existing Super 3R. Um, the difference being that this is a fully qualified and rated for DH, DH rated, where the 3R isn't. So that means this is a little bit bulkier, sturdier, and definitely does look that way. And most likely, uh, probably uh, stuffier in the sense that it'll probably make me sweat a lot more. Uh, I could tell you right off the bat, uh, after hitting some trails with it, is it is definitely tougher to get the chin bar strapped back on. So I normally take it off if I'm climbing and doing some simple rides or trails rather. Uh, and then once I get to something gnarly, then I'll try to strap it on, but I'll strap it on without taking the helmet on, uh, off. So it took me a while to kind of fiddle with it, get it aligned all perfectly, and then get these, you know, clipped into place. Whereas the 3R is much more manageable, but it's also possible because I'm used to the 3R and just not quite used to this yet. So maybe given some time and practice, I could probably get this snapped into place perfectly fine with the helmet on. So this is how it comes off though. Typically, I find that doing the sides, oh, let's wait for the airplane to go by here. There we go. So again, doing the sides I find to be the easiest thing first and then taking off the back. It just comes right off. Now, as far as the strap goes, what I like about it is the magnetic clip. It's so easy to just clip, clip right into place. You pull it one direction, it comes right off. Really cool. That's not a feature on the 3R. But then again, this is a more modern uh, and more expensive helmet. And of course, they advertise that this rotational thing, you know, I can't remember what they call that. And uh, lastly, they, it comes with extra pads. So we have on the chin bar, we have the, the cheek pads and we get some spares and really cool, it also comes with an optional uh, camera mount. So I've never tried to put this on. Let's see how it works. So I guess you just squeeze it into place. Oh, okay. So, okay, so a lot easier than I thought, or maybe not. Okay, so I guess that's how it goes on. Oh, no, okay. So it takes a little bit of maneuvering to get into place. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, the 3R actually has one as well, but it's already, you know, mounted, or, uh, glued in place, strapped in place, um, which is cool, which is fine, uh, but this is also Cool. And in fact, this is better because I could just take it right off, give myself an extra vent here. Speaking of vents, I do notice that the vents on this are a bit smaller than the 3R. So I'm going to uh, uh, assume that it's not as breathable. And I could tell you from experience, actually, no, I don't necessarily need to assume. Just it's already uh, noticeable that having this excluding the, the actual chin bar, definitely made me sweat more. One other thing to note is, uh, is the actual uh, sweat pad here. Now, you know, they advertise that you, that it uh, will kind of guide your sweat from off your brow all over to the sides. Um, I could tell you it does work to some degree. Um, uh, I, I, uh, on one of the trails, I was sweating a ton and I did notice some of it did drip in front of my eyes, uh, but majority of it was kind of directed off to the sides where it kind of dripped off my temple. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, hit some trails. 
or rather, or let me show you some uh, footage of me hitting the, some trails with this on, give you some uh, feedback while I'm uh, um, on some of those trails. So one thing I noticed with the summit, it is a, uh, It is causing my my uh, glasses to fog up. So that is to say, the airflow seems to push it up to my glasses. And I do feel it's a bit more restrictive in terms of uh, breathability. One thing I did notice beyond what I've already mentioned is uh, that sweat channeling thing that it mentions over the brow. It does work to some degree. It, uh, I've noticed that my sweat seems to kind of get regulated to the sides of my temple versus over my eyes. And I say somewhat because, like right now, it's actually dri dripping almost off my right eye. So I don't know if that's due to me just sweating more than it could handle or if it's just not functional. But I still do like the fact that it is able to handle some of the sweat because a lot of times I have to stop in fact forced to stop and take my helmet off to wipe off the sweat and rub it out of my eyes so what do i think of this helmet overall well i like it it feels uh comfortable snug really snug but i think that's mainly due to the fact that it's brand new right so i'm sure i gotta break it in a bit uh, i feel secure with it the bar or the chin bar rather is a bit of a struggle to put on but again it might be just a matter of getting accustomed to it. But this thing is hot. I think I feel the heat much more than my previous helmet. And it's really noticeable with the uh, sweat that's running down. At least it doesn't completely drip in front of my face over my eyes. So that's a good thing. So yeah, I think it'll work and I am happy with the purchase. That concludes it. Thanks for watching.